another fraudulent approach from Shiro and Ituna. But this time, it's looking like it's the last. Ituna got used as bait. Then Shiro came back and was like, haha, got you again. That was actually pretty funny. But this time, it seems like a redemption is happening. We got the backstory, sad backstory, moral of the story. Don't have integrity if you're in the business of making cell phones or Apple will like, you know, poach your best people and you'll go out of business and your son will be out to the streets and he'll get turned into some octopus creature research thing to be used as a weapon, I guess. But hey, it's fine. Terasaka was amazing. He's kind of brought Ituna into his own group. I, our class, I think, is finally full roster unless we're getting new students. Let's begin today's reaction. That's right. Koro-sensei got a new power too, pretty much. Compression of tentacles. Big blast attack. Take me with you, sensei. <laughs> e san isn't that like... That's not Japanese, right? Was that the language spoken in Shanghai? Yeah. <laughs> No bitches. What's going on, Ituna? Ituna kun, He's still a bit mentally unstable. Mm. Okay, all it takes is that one time, right? Spinning time! Kimura Masayoshi. Kimura is the focus of today, maybe? I don't know. I mean, his dad was a cell phone guy, so he knows how to use it. <laughs> Terasaka just gets brutally just humiliated by, you know, like a, him over and over again. CGI. Let's see how this works. He's supposed to kill Koro-sensei? Just a little toy. Let's see the firepower. I mean, as long as the BB Palace lands, that's all that matters, but is this really gonna go? Okay, Koro-sensei can't hear it. In silence, maybe we can sneak up. Hmm? Where's that? Under the tie. Right in the middle. Koro-sensei knew. Koro-sensei I have a feeling that we're just gonna get fan service scenes with this toy. It's the perfect thing to kind of creep up on Bitch sensei underneath. Is that where we're going with this? Especially with, especially with Okajima, you know? Especially because Okajima is also observing you. I just feel like the fan service is going to happen. <laughs> 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 no, not, not, the girl, not these girls. Go for Beach Sensei. Boys, focus. Boys, focus. <laughs> no panty shots here. You're so serious about this, man. That's more important than, you know, Koro-san said that. Megara, you fucking degenerate. Megara, you fucking degenerate. Genius. Genius. Yeah. Oh my god, this Coomer. It's smart. Very smart. <laughs> Camera provider. <laughs> we, we have the advisor. Camera provider. This is low-key reminding me in Classroom of the Elite, the quote-unquote filler episode, the, you know, the pool episode. We have Argo Squad, you know? All the serious boys just doing the dumb fucking shit. Ritsu's involved too? You Thank you, Anxara, for the gift itself, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> Ritsu don't know. Ritsu has no clue. Takebayashi no Kajima, bro. What's Nagisa thinking right now? Okay, 
Oh, 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 oh. That's it. <laughs> There's Kimura. Kimura's the fast guy, right? Go there, Kimura. Go fucking run. High mobility recovery crew. Kimura. Drive system design support. I love how everyone has like a little bit of shading on their face. Just half of it, right? With amazing lighting to make it look so fucking serious. Hey, his dad has like a motorcycle range shit, right? He, knew, he, knew, he must know how to work this shit. Camouflage manager. I had a no road map. They're having a lot of fun though. They're united more than ever. The next day. So early. Holy shit, they should have 6 30 a.m. for this? They're so dedicated. <laughs> you got the fucking ramen bro here, man. Oh. No, I don't think the assassination matters anymore. We're not even building this shit for the assassination. It's just for panty shots now. Before the girls show up. <laughs> He's like doing it for <laughs> I don't want to hurt her my fucking ass, but he looks so epic like this. Nagas is not convinced. Yeah, they're all, you know, getting along. That's the important thing here. <laughs> what? Sex violence and making things. Basically what all the boys just want. Okay. <laughs> Code name. Code Candid. Code Voyeurism. Code Peeper. Code, I'm gonna go to jail if police find me for this in the train station. Growing Thread. Aww. Aww, look at that! Uh-oh. Oh shit, it's a mongoose. No, leave the little thing alone! It's bulletproof. You made it mad. All that work, I think, is gone. Bruh. All that fucking work. Down the drain. We need a driver and a gutter. It's okay, this is a learning experience. We can do better. Exactly, MK2 instead. I mean, he definitely knows best. Just fucking failing over and again and come back with new fucking upgrades and then failing again just like against Koto Sensei. We can do the same shit with this RC car. That's right. The end is the only thing that matters. Oh. <laughs> Bloodlust is <laughs> Nagisa again. Bro, Nagisa just wilding out today. Look what he said. Before it was like sex, violence, and making things. Uniting all the boys. Bloodlust is what binds us together. Nagisa commentary low-key unhinged. Not even low-key, high-key unhinged. <laughs> By March, we might all be dead. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They all overheard? Yes, blame Okajima for everything. Worst timing. Worst timing ever. Damn, the boys are just gonna throw Okajima under the bus? Crime of passion. Crime of lust. Gigahara. Okay, we'll skip class together. Itona and Karma also gets along. Alright, that was a fun little skit. Kimura? Masayoshi Kimura. Justice Kimura. Wow. Kimura getting more lines. This is rare. Kimura reminds me of an acorn. 
She low-key does. The only Kirara that I remember is from Fate Grand Order. A gigantic booba waifu monster thing. It's kind of scary. She's also scary to me. So yes, I Kirara makes sense to me. Your mom crazy. Yo, that family is kind of fucked. The mom sounds like she's mentally ill. Okay. Yeah, karma's name is just fucking karma. It's not even Japanese. It's karma of like, you know, like a balance of like you do good, you do bad things and it's gonna like, you know, eventually happen to you or some shit. Koro, we named you Sensei. Unkillable Sensei. Hmm? Bitch Sensei and Karasuma. Hey. <laughs> Good impression. At the, at the very least, they actually say Koro, you know. Uh, at least your name isn't Bitch Sensei. I feel bad for, you know, Bitch Sensei the most. Oh, yeah. I feel like some really chuny, cringe, cool names are about to happen. Okajima, the thousand sexual harassments. What else would there be? I don't know. I just have one for Okajima. That's it. その中から先生が引いたもので呼び合ってみましょう。オッケー。考えるのか。あ、もう突き出て。それで。やらずラブスケリー。日にち。名前。野球馬か。野球馬か。ターゲット動きはある。ファックスジャクソンポーラー。
どうですかそうでバクソムエジャクソンポーロック国以下おかずも<笑> Why? I mean, she kind of low key hot at low key could be a mom. Yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe. So, no, 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 Basically, the literal translation can be made like, like iron justice, like steel justice. Like my name literally translates to like something like like a, like a fucking super morally correct and like a good person, like iron steel justice. That's so not me at all. Justice. Wow. What is this guy, Jin, bro? The person makes a name. Very profound, Koro sensei. <laughs> he didn't get him. Did he get him? I can't tell. Hentai octopus. Hentai taco. Eternal Prince of Tempest? What the fuck? Hentai Octopus. Edo Taco. Something like that. There it is. The pervy octopus of spineless stupidity. That's so long. Specs. Megane. <laughs> it fits you perfectly. He definitely did it. He that ramen guy definitely did it. The art of dark. <laughs> it's so fucking me, but you know, he turned us a bit different. He's a little rough around the edges, and I truly believe that if he literally just listened to Itona's criticisms about why the ramen is bad. Maybe the ramen shop would start doing really well. Mm -hmm. He definitely belongs to the Terasaka group. <laughs> yeah, today's episode was very fun and very chill, right? And now it's just like Nagisa just giving a little bit of like, all right, did you have fun with the slice of life skits? Are you ready for despair and sadness to happen? Uh oh. Oh, oh, we haven't had Asuka in such a fucking long time. Last time we saw his ass when him and Karma took a double L, right? During the finals, and then we literally have not seen him. Basketball? Wait, are we playing basketball next? Alright. I want a different competition other than midterms, though. That's a stain. Damn. Honestly, I think eternal 8th graders should go to the principal, bro. The principal Loki is the most tuny person in this, in this, in this anime. This soundtrack is so epic. Okay, what still separates them? That you did extra planning? Surpass me, my son. Okay. Honestly, this relationship is so interesting because it's less about Asano competing with the end class, but more of like the father and son competition. Where will the story go with these two, constantly kind of at each other's throats? Is there a chance that Asano will eventually learn? I mean, his goal was to learn about the secrets, and if he does, then what could actually happen? Clearly, Asano is such an important character 
where are they going with this? And that's another episode of Assassination Classroom. And today's episode was very chill, very fun. First get RC tank thing. Ultimately, it was to start, you know, peaking. I loved how each character had such a important, like, uh, shading and cool designs and intros, like dry system design support, you know, stuff like that. I, I, I fucking loved it. The boys just being boys, sex, violence, making things, you know, unites the guys. And then the second skit, it was code names. Kimura kind of low-key being important. He was, right? But at the same time, just giving everyone their different, you know, code names. Sundere Sniper with the TS at the beginning of Sundere and Sniper, I think was fucking amazing. Gender Bender for Nagasa makes so much sense. And then the end with Asano and Principal, right? Obviously, we did a lot of playing around, a lot of clowning around. Let's get back to the main plot. The midterms are coming up. We're about to do another round of competitions. I don't want to do like an academic competition, though. I want to do like something else entirely, but... Maybe we'll study again and start having skits of the Lulu fight against the, the question monsters. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. Until next time. Take care.